Hey there, welcome back. It's episode one with our second club of the Nordic Journeyman. We're going to go with TPS. I'll be completely honest with you. I haven't had a chance to go on Google Translate or, or find like YouTube links where the team name is said. Um, so I don't want to I don't want to butcher it because it's important to say club names correctly. So Turin Padosura is how I'm going to say it now. But TPS is a bit easier until I get it down. But if you know how it's said, drop a drop a comment. A um, couple things that we're going to do today. I know I'm not doing a fancy intro. Here, here's the deal with that. Um, I stayed up till like 1.30 doing the episode last night. Um, I made a mistake on the video. I had to re-record something and then it took a while to process and I am just beat today. So that's why I'm not doing that today. So I'm doing this. Actually, I'm quite proud of myself. It's like before nine o'clock. It's 8.56 when I'm starting to record this um, on Monday night. So anyway, today we're going to take a look at the club the facilities, the finances. We're going to take a long look at the squad, and here's why. I'm going to need your help. I hope you stay tuned in for the whole video. I need help building a good tactic because if you're new around here, you may not know this, but everybody else knows this. Like, I tactics. I've got a lot to learn. I'm not like that 15-year player that has been playing football manager and championship manager since the beginning of time. So I love your help there. And I'll give you an idea. I have like a, a general idea based on the players we have, but I want to see what you think. And maybe I'm completely wrong about how I'm going about it. So let's hop into it. All right. Uh, let's look at the club. Right. So used to be up in the Premier Division. Okay. Actually, in real life, I, I believe they just they just uh, won their won their way. They, they, they're back as of this season. So they I think in 2017 they were down here in real life, and now they've they've uh, they've jumped back up. So. Congrats to them, to the team in, in real life. Go TPS. So, um, I don't know if this is 100% accurate. It's They do have a black and white kit. I want to say, according to Wikipedia, their away kits are all black. I could be wrong, though. I'd love to be wrong. Um, but I definitely know it's black and white. That's why the thumbnail and the, the intro screen I'm using and all that, I've got the fit, the from this perspective over here would be like the, the Finnish flag, the Finland flag finish. That's right. Isn't it? And on the other side, I have a photo of uh, the stadium that they play at and it's got black and white uh, vertical stripes because I was trying to emulate the kit. Um, right. So looks like standard field dimensions grass, which is good to know. Um, 140 Euro season ticket price. I mean, you get 27 games. That's that's pretty good value, right? Average ticket price 14 with 500 whopping season ticket holders. That's pretty good for a semi-pro team, in my opinion. Um, playing in the Yakonen, Yakonen. I I looked I looked that one up earlier. I think it's Yakonen, but that's probably wrong. It was like there's like websites where people record how to say things, and it's like their actual recording. So I don't know if that's right. I guess someone will tell me in the comments. Owner loves the club. Fantastic. Okay, yippee, yippee. We've got adequate corporate training or adequate corporate facilities. Good training. No data analysis facilities. So no abacus in the closet for the, you know, the bean counters, right? Um, no, our basic youth facilities. We don't have a stadium sponsor. We're renting the stadium for 10K a year, which I think is interesting. Um, built in 1952 and rebuilt must maybe rebuilt means refurbished, but cool. Owned by the council. It's very good condition. Undersoul heating. Yes. Cause we're in Finland at above average youth recruitment and good junior coaching. So we should see some prospects coming through that we can use or sell on. So that's good to know. Affiliated clubs. We have affiliation. Yes. Yes. FCRP, whatever that is. Lower division. K. Mutually beneficial relationship that doesn't cost us anything. Great. Capo Carina. Well, they'll host an annual friendly. Okay. It doesn't cost us anything. I guess maybe it just makes the locals happy. Lito. Same thing. Maps Masku. Same thing. Lots of affiliations, but none of them. They're all lower division teams. I just realized that. Third division and then below that. So maybe we can get, you know, some sort of affiliation with an, with an overseas club. Maybe. I mean, we're semi-pro, probably not, but something to look at. 
Um, looking at the history, you can see here eight league titles. I think that's two, two, uh, the, the, divi the first division, the division we're in now titles, um, three cups and whatever that is. It's not even a thing I can click on. So fantastic. Um, competitions. Last time we won the top division, 1975. Third place, 2012. Third place in 2015, run up in 2016 of the first division. So they've been up there. So the, the past season, right, dropping down to seventh is, is a rather large disappointment. If they were in third and then second, to fall five places down to seventh um, in the in the last season has got to be disappointing. So, um, right. Let's take a look here. So that's about the club. I told you we were going to look at something else. Did I finances? Yes. Yes. They, uh, I, I neglected to look at this, but I figured they're paying me. So even a club at 91,000 euros in debt is better than a club not paying me any wages. So profit loss is what, what happened here? It must be like an investment, right? Back in 2018. Surely. Oh. Maybe the sponsorship. Okay, let's take a look at the sponsors. No data to show. We got a bank loan in 2015. Why don't we have any sponsors? Did they expire? Wow, projections are looking good though. My word, is it because we don't have like all of our wages are dropping off probably? But uh, yeah, I'm here. You know, no, no big deal. I've uh, I've solved all of our problems. Fantastic. Um. We're making one euro a month on players sold. Excellent. What is that? What is 52 <laughs> or 12 euros a year? What is the deal with that? I'd love to know. I'd love to know. All right. So let's go take a look at our staff here. So we've got Marco Johansson, who is our assistant coach. And he's not very good. I mean, he was a coach and then he, he got promoted. He has a three on man management, but I don't want to cut his contract because it's going to cost us money, and we already are in the red. So he stays on for at least a year until his contract's up. But that he, he's got some work to do. All right, we've got Miko Hironen, who looks to be a mighty decent – I mean, he looks pretty good from like a youth <laughs> – head of youth development, right? Um He's an all-around decent coach, though. Fitness, not so much, but you can't have everything. So, looks pretty good. And he's, I mean, he's not necessarily a TPS legend, but he was here for five years. Then his career kind of tapered out. He came back for two years. And then another three years. My goodness, I don't know. That's interesting. He coached here. He's a player coach. He's had an interesting career. He's 41, mind you. Um, oh, by the way, he's our striker. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that in a second. So, quite the interesting career good old Miko Hirunen has had. Um, <laughs> he's player coach. I forgot about that. Um, Emily Raponen is our goalkeeping coach. All around eight. Okay. Like, I, I think for this level, again, I'm just kind of guessing. I think that's all right. And then last but not least, we've got Tommy Pikarainen. Pikarainen, Pikarainen, who is our head of youth development, 14, 7, and 6. I, I think the other guy's better, but, you know, I guess we'll make this work. Like, oh, he's, he's making bank, too, so he needs to be bringing in some solid prospects, or we're going to tell him to hit the road. We have a chief scout. I've already posted adverts for two scouts because that's what they said we can have. Uh, not bad. Adaptability 16. I mean, so good knowledge and all that good stuff, so not bad. And I, I've already posted a physio, our head physio. He's got a physiotherapy of seven. Lovely. And then the chief doctor who we can't click on. So uh, U20s, we'll look at the, the players here in a second. The coaching staff, we just have the one. Ju Juicy or Ju Surely it's Juicy. Juicy Harutu. Juicy Harutu sounds, I don't know. That doesn't sound Finnish. Okay. Um, he's been the U20 head coach since 2011 like that's like must mean like in real life that's crazy and he looks quite good 13 14 10 9 7 he can work well with youngsters he's adaptable with determination like this guy's a gem i kind of like him so we're we'll hopefully keep him around we're, we've already put out 
Um, they've, they've allowed us to have an assistant coach and a general coach, so we're throwing that out there to see if we can get him some help. All right. You've waited for... Actually, I want to show you the dynamics. I keep I keep teasing you with the squad. Um, there's five players already opposed me. No worries. It's only the influential team leaders and highly influential players. <laughs> Why? Why do they... What did I do to you guys? Huh? What did I do to you? I didn't do anything. Why do you oppose me? I know I just got here, but give me a freaking break. That's not what I meant to click. I'm clicking everywhere. Oh, the game has frozen. Oh, things have gone all crazy. Okay, let's back up. So we've got multiple social groups here. we got a core group, secondary, secondary, and then like the on the outside looking in. But everybody looks to be rather happy. I mean, again, I don't understand why they don't, why these guys don't like me. I just got here. It's not my fault your last coach left. Okay. Let's see what happened. I actually don't even know what happened to the last coach. He was sacked. Okay, so you should be happy. Your 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 last guy got sacked. He was there for four years, to be fair. He's like a five year manager, but you know. I, I'm here to save the day. We're gonna we're gonna go go up next season. Alright, I've I've teased you enough. Let's look Oh boy, let's look at the squad. Alright. Um I'm gonna go by I guess like by grouping. So we got two goalkeepers here. We should probably have a third. Maybe we have one in the U twenties. Vili Seppa, who is a backup, but he's got three and a half star potential. So we we will. I think I'm going to plan to use him like in the cup, depending on what the board's expectations are of the cup. But I want to get him some experience. He's 22, so we need to maximize his training and all that kind of stuff. It says a surplus to requirements, but I mean he's got the potential to be quite good. So we'll see. And and again, I'm going to ask. I'm not going to spend like just forever on each player, but if you want to look at him in more depth, obviously pause the video. And let me know. Um, but our starter here is going to be Jan Viscosi. He's viscous. Fluid. I don't know. Um, he's Canadian, I just realized. Excellent. Come on over. Backup player, but can still improve. So that's the thing. He's got better current ability right now. But he's not going... I mean, it says he could improve, but according to the stats... I mean, he's better, but it's a little iffy. Uh, 29 allowed goals in 26 appearances. Five shutouts, though. Uh, what is it? Save parried. Okay, he parries them rather than holding them. All right, 6-6-3 six, six, is quite, quite bad. One of the things I noticed overall with the whole whole club is we didn't have a single player with a 7.0. We had one player on 14 appearances has a 5.99. Woof. Here we got... Uh, Nine starts and eight sub appearances, six one two. So like, woof. You could tell they had a rough season. All right, at center back we got Shakir Rexhepi, who's Albanian, three star current and potential ability. Not as much pace and acceleration as I like, but he's an all around good first teamer, right? He's got some green. He can. It does. He doesn't have any red in the key categories, so. He he's all right to start six seven four last season. Only got eight appearances, being a first team player. That's interesting. I'm curious. Was he? He wasn't even injured. No idea what happened there. And he didn't play for two seasons. Interesting. That's so strange. Okay. Rasmus Holma, two and a half star backup. I think good old Rasmus here is gonna start for us. He's on a backup contract, but I like the I like the pace. Maybe in a cover role, maybe not. Maybe in a defender role, but I like the acceleration and the pace to watch those balls over the top. Fourteen appearances, six five seven is not very good. I'm just gonna assume. The whole team played very bad. Very, very bad last season. So I'm not going to hold it against him. Maybe I should. I don't know. Miro Tenho. Again, two and a half star, but has potential. So is definitely going to rotate in. Um, has pace and acceleration. Not a bad player at all. Like, so definitely is going to be pushed. Six foot two is going to be pushing uh, Sh Shakir here for his job. Although he's got 16 jump range and 12 heading. So. Good little competition there from the bench. Uh, Tuka Andberg has got 
potentially four and a half star potential ability on loan, cheap, free, free is cheap, 20 years old, um, was a first team contract. I didn't like the pace and the acceleration, like obviously good bravery, anticipation, aggression, all that kind of stuff. I've gone ahead and requested or made an, made a, made an offer for zero, but I think I put them on backup or ro rotate because I don't like having loan players where they can dictate how often they play unless we absolutely need it. And I felt like these three players could do the job on the back end. Uh, Sami Ramonen. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing all these. Just tell me in the comments so I can fix it. Really good right back. 700 a week. Quite expensive. I mean, we, well, I'm tempted. I'm so tempted. If we could sell him, we would solve most of our financial issues. But we're not going to do that, I don't believe, because he looks quite good. 7.0 rating in the league. So he got pulled down. He had one sub appearance, I guess, in the cup. And that pulled his rating down to a 6.97. But in the league, he actually did have a 7.0. Four goals, three assists. Not bad. Did get a red card. But overall, in a supporting role, looks pretty good. Maybe even attacking because of the first touch. Maybe. But uh, overall, looks quite good. Happy with that. Yuri Kinnunen is a backup left back, but he's an inverted wing back. Like, I, I, I don't... I feel like someone told me once in FM 16 or 17 that inverted wing backs was kind of broken and I'm not planning based on the squad playing on the wing back. So he's more of like a backup right back and he's okay. Not fantastic, but he's backup. And you know, if someone came around and want and wanted to, he's listed right now. I'm not sure if I should take that off or not. Let me know what you think. Otto Pekka Jervanen is 33 Left back, left back, we've already requested to keep him on for 40 a week and for the next season. Looks quite good for, especially for a 33 year old. Left foot, left footed, should start for us. 674, not bad. Only nine starts. I'm so confused the number of starts some of these players have as to what the system was. I guess Yuri got the start in an inverted wing back role or a right footed left fullback. I can't. I can't see that, but okay. Uh, Nicholas Freiburg is a right back, backup, but good potential. Happy about that. So definitely get him rotated into the squad to start upping those stats a little bit. Great pace and acceleration. Again, if you go more of a supporting role, has got the crossing. We'll just tell him not to dribble and not to shoot. Um, but, you know, needs to work on some of his passing, marking, and all that kind of stuff. But not bad for a 22-year-old. We'll take it. Valeri Minik. Minkinen, Minkinen, we'll get there. Key player on loan, 30 a week. Oh, we got to have him. I've already requested to keep him. Plays all over the pitch, right-footed. Thinking more like up here, kind of in a 4-2-3-1. But again, I want to get your thoughts on that. Looks pretty good overall. Only has the one red. So I, we can't put him like in a central midfield defense role because heading is not good, marking is not good. It's definitely more of... A decision maker, um, not bad dribbling, first touch really good, really good free kick taker as well, pretty good penalty taker, dictates the tempo, so hopeful to use him in the next season if they'll extend him. Johnny Parajo is a backup. What you'll discover at this part of the video is we we lack some options in the midfield, if especially if that lone player doesn't come back, so... One and a half star, three star potential. Has got physicals, no strength, and no jumping reach, which means his heading is a two, which means really can't really use him in a defensive role. Deploying playmaker, okay, but that negates some of the, the pace stuff. So, okay, maybe yeah, but like nothing. He, he just doesn't have like a mix of, of stats that just work with his positions that he knows. Like this is probably the best fit but you miss out on all the acceleration and pace and all that kind of stuff. So not thrilled. Right now we can't afford really to lose anybody. That's why he was a 6-1-2. My goodness. Um, we can't afford to really lose anybody, but I'm not exactly thrilled. Uh, Yami, Jami, Sirtola. Same thing. One and a half star, three star. Plays more of a defensive midfielder. If we play him up here, is okay. You know, determination is awful. 
not like just none of it fits. And a halfback role five nine eight last season would be my guess. I think they played a four one two three with a DM, um, with the wide, uh, the wingers rather than like a four two four one two three narrow. Um, just just doesn't, yeah, doesn't seem that enthusiastic. I don't know. That's not the word I'm looking for. I'm just blown away by 13 appearances on a 598. It just is kind of kind of bad. Surplus to requirements. Yeah. I'm thinking that contract's going to run out. We'll save on the wage budget. Um, but we got to get some some new signings, and that's my big thing. Uh, Walt Terry? Walt? Pel- Peltola? Same thing. Not No strength, no balance. Kind of all over the... I mean... Can't really do support because the marking has potential, so maybe we, we can't. I mean, he's on contract till next season anyway, but I just don't know. I mean, advanced playmaker, but no flair is about the best we've got as an option for him. Just doesn't just doesn't look like he's up to par. Elari Matala is a backup right winger. Is okay. Winging is about what he can do. You can't trust him to do anything else. Just run down and hoof it in. That's all I need you to do. That and that he's all right. He's a, he's definitely the backup though. Nicholas Blomqvist, Blomqvist, Blomqvist. Get it out. I I got I kind of got stuck there. Um, backup has potential if we can develop him into being an advanced playmaker where we can drop that lone player back into like more of a central midfield role. Just just needs some work. Needs some work. Six three seven on ten starts last season. That is so unbelievable. Um, let's see, Johnny Mackinnon. I feel like I showed you Johnny Mackinnon. Maybe I didn't. All the names run together. Again, advanced playmaker. Not not bad. Has some green and key spots. Really good composure and decision making. Acceleration's okay. Sorry, my phone keeps vibrating and buzzing here. Put it on sleep, um, which is what I should be doing. Six two six. I'd like to make him a hero, but not not sure. Mika Artalo, which is not how you say that. Important planners, prime years, left winger, left footed. Looks very very good. Thirty three six caps for the uh, national team. Five U twenty one caps. Six eight seven compared to the rest of the squad. Not bad. Four goals last season. Or four goals, I guess, over t- two seasons. I, I could just look here, couldn't I? Four goals last season with four assists. So I, that's why I believe they're playing a 4 2 3 1, or I mean a 4 1 2 3 uh, with a DM and wingers. Runs the ball down the left, gets forward whenever possible. So might be a bit of a liability on the defensive side. So we'll have to watch that in our tactic. Uh, Jacko Lapola is another midfielder slash I could also do the winging job if I had to. Um, All right option, you know, probably is going to be a potential starter or maybe a backup. I don't like the lack of physicals um, being a little bit off. One of the things, and I'll show you here in a little bit on the team report, he's going to start according to what I have planned out right now, but um, we we lack stamina significantly in the midfield. And Oscari Jakonen, again, a hot prospect, 21, five-star potential ability. We should be excited. But, I mean, he can do the winger job all right. He just needs a little bit more development. I mean, he can play a bunch of different roles, but just needs a little bit more seasoning. Looks like he could be a nice little rotational player for an attacking midfield, something like that. <laughs> Johnny Vertanen, four-star this is, he's an inside forward because he's left footed. He's one of our best players, key player. Four goals, seven assists, six eight four. Played really well last season. Lots of green. Good to see. Put him on an attack roll because he's got. I mean, I kind of don't know what to do there because he's got good crossing and dribbling, but he also has the first touch and the long shots. So do we put him on attack? Do we put him on support? Runs the ball down the right, even though. I mean, I guess that's before he gets into the attacking third and then cuts inside from the wing. Looks to be a lovely player. And our 41-year-old player coach, Miko Hyrenen. Hyrenen, I don't know. Miko, 
I mean, I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie. This guy is 41 years old, and look at his stats. He is running those young dogs around the park, right? Like, that is incredible. Look at his history. Apparently didn't play, or we don't have stats for last season, but, I mean, he's he's starting. Like, if he's 41, 40, 39, 30, when he's 38, he has 42 appearances and 12 goals. Just abs- 442 total appearances and 132 goals. That is absolutely insane. And when did he, I mean, I guess he started playing at a reasonable age. If he's 41 here, go back 18 years. What was that? It was 20, yeah, 23, okay. But I, 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 I think he's a good, I mean, he's on a backup contract. He seems to be better than everybody else we have on the team. So, oh, and he's also six foot with the 12 jumping reach and 13 heading. Is that worth it for a target man? Let's find out. Um, and then last but not least, we got Rico Sioros, who's a two and a half star with three and a half star potential. Poacher, maybe an advance forward. We, his determination is woeful. I'm, let me go back and look. I'm thinking, I, I want to get your thoughts on this. Do we have Miko work with... Uh, because he's got the 12 determination with Riku. And if so, do I do it with work on, like, it's like your skills or work with him off the pitch? Because he's fairly sporting. So let me know what you think there. Not very strong. Has some work to do, but a, a good rotational option. If we're going to play him, our 41 year old up top, that's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, man. Just turned 41. So he was 40 last season. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Wow, we're at 26 minutes. Okay, let's go look at the U20s just real quick. Some of the highlights. We got Ani Valakari, two and a half star with really good potential. Again, kind of an advanced playmaker. Needs to work on strength and balance. I feel like I've already talked about him, but maybe all the names are running together. But all around a decent option for us. Might get called up at some point this season because we really lack. Um, let's go look at the five stars here. 16 years old. Looks good. Jumping reach and strength. I mean, he's five foot five. Oh my. Okay. So we got to work on that. Maybe work on the determination, but really good decision making. Got some prospects here. Sasu Viljanan. Okay. Let's look here. Okay. Left winger. We Depending on the system we, we go with, we might need to get him working on this role instead. Got really good acceleration and pace. So just like kick it to him long and see if he can beat his man to the ball. Maybe. Um, and we'll take a look at some of these other ones as we go throughout the season, but I don't want to get bogged down on that right now. Um, looking at the team report. Is it facts or comparisons? So take the goalkeepers out of it. So we're slightly, we're no, we're seventh. The average is interesting. Or is that us? No. Huh. We're so, it, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Um, we're paying fourth on wages, even though we're fifth in value. Okay. Seems to be top loaded a little bit. Looking at our defense. Really good at tackling. Not so great at heading or jumping. R- not bad at marking. Positioning is off. Strength is not so great. Really good pace and acceleration. So the... I don't know. I, again, um, I'm not an expert at tactics by any means. I'm thinking we play maybe a slightly higher line and then put somebody on cover to help, you know, cover some of those long balls. If we have the pace and acceleration to beat it, um, especially if we're good at tackling so where we can run out, maybe put somebody on stopper to where we can run out and stop them before they hoof it long. And if they hoof it long, we've got somebody else there, but our positioning is not great. So maybe that's a problem in the midfield. Yeah, really bad. Really, really bad. Really, really, really bad. Um, The best is 12.63, and we are on 8.75 in terms of stamina. So that, to me, goes like, okay, one, let's see what kind of midfield uh, players we can bring in in the offseason. But two, do we play more of like a control, like pass it around, like let's not run up at like no box-to-box midfielders, right? Um, people that kind of just play their role so that they're not having to run around. We're extremely good on technique, 
I'm not sure how to take advantage of that. Maybe you'll tell me. Passing is decent. Uh, long shots is decent. Vision is really good. So again, maybe playing like pass into space, more risky passes. So like kind of hold your position in more risky passes is kind of what I was thinking. Um, not great at teamwork or tackling. So defense is not really good. You might say, wow, 658 is really bad. And then pretty good on decision making. So maybe if we give them, again, I'm just thinking out loud here, roles where they're not running up and down because they don't have the stamina to do that. But we give them maybe more more decisions to make, more risky passes, passing into space. Use that technique, use that vision to get those balls past a defender. Maybe that's completely wrong, and you'll tell me because I don't know what I'm talking about. And then we have a problem in the attacking third where we have the lowest finishing. That's not good. But we have by far, not by far, we apparently have the second best heading in the league. That goes back to our 41-year-old striker. So we need to get some prospects in here. Finishing is really bad. Um, so we need, to, we need to up that quite a bit. Long shots is not great. Jumping is not great. Good in anticipation and off the ball. And pace is okay. And acceleration is pretty good. So how can we take advantage of that? Do we use the target man? Because that's his favorite role. Not sure. So that's what we got going on there. We're really bad at balance, strength, and stamina. We got to work on that. Like I'm going to work on fitness, I think, um, in the, the team training while we get this sorted out. Not so good or great on the composure. So we've got definitely got some things to work on. We do have really, really good first touch. I mean, the worst is 8.35, so maybe it's not that big of a difference. But our finishing, okay, that's including goalkeepers and defenders. But we, even if you include the midfielders, it goes down significantly. So finishing, scoring goals is going to be a problem. I'd like us to see how we can negate that problem, but also, you know, be solid defensively. And again, going back to the midfield, can we take advantage of the technique and the decision and the vision? Maybe, maybe not. So maybe you can help me with that. So here's what I've come up with thus far. And then this will be the last part of what we do. I was just looking at the players we had. And I'm thinking we either do a 4-2-3-1 or we do a 4-1-2-3. And so essentially, depending on where this player goes. So Minkinen, McKinnon, Minkinen, I don't know. <laughs> he, he can play in the attacking midfield role, but then we don't really have anybody solid here and this is his best role and with him being a key player i kind of wanted to play him in his best role so with that it doesn't leave us many options in terms of okay he's in the central midfield okay up here he's on the right wing um no he, he's in central midfield there's two of them mackinan where's mackinan i don't have mackinan i guess he would be the next one up but they're all two star Bl you know, same thing, Blumquist, whatever. And his best role is an advanced playmaker. And I feel like having two advanced playmakers, you know, like even in an attack role, he's going to be cutting in and he's going to be up in this space and he's going to be pushing up here. I feel like this is going to get a little clogged is just a guess. Um, so if we swap that out and we go to a defensive midfielder, then we're playing Jami Sertola here, who's not great, right? He's 5'9", 8", so I would need to pick up probably two defensive midfielders. So that's why I was thinking here and going with uh, Mekinen. But I'm not sure. I'm not sold on this completely. We don't have many people that are really comfortable playing like a 4-4-1-1 or something like that, and it doesn't resolve the problem with the this central attacking midfielder. So I'd love your thoughts there. My initial instinct, again, I could be completely wrong on this, would be more of a f either structured or flexible. Um, so we're not running all over the place, but I do want to take advantage of this right back because he's quite good. And our left back, who's not half bad. I don't know if doing control and overlapping makes sense, uh, but maybe, you know, um, what was I thinking? Giving like individual instructions for risky passes to the guys that have really good decision making and good vision, stuff like that. But I'm not an expert by any means on any of that stuff. Uh, if you look at the schedule, we haven't even gotten to the next season. 
I wanted to get this out there so that I wasn't having to do all kinds of, you know, um, friendlies and all that kind of stuff to get this episode out. Cause again, I went to bed at like one 30 last night. So I'll leave it there. Um, let me know what you think about the squad, the tactics. If you need to go back, go back and look at the players. Let me know. I'm a hundred percent up to whatever you guys want to help me come up with. This is just kind of my first instinct. Just looking, we seem to be really good or really good on the wings, really good at the back. And then the midfield was kind of our problem. And I'm afraid we're going to have a defensive issue because like I've got them in their best roles here and that's all support. So would we then leave these people more? defensively or just push the line up so anyway i'm gonna stop rambling here i really appreciate the support on the series hopefully you're enjoying us moving over to finland and uh you've got these links up here to check out if you've enjoyed this episode if you wouldn't mind to hit the like button i'd like to get because this is a new um new club is what i was trying to get out new club of the save if we could get it to 50 likes that would be massive and uh, leave a comment and we'll see you in the next episode. It may not come out on Wednesday because I want to see what kind of comments we get around all the uh, the tactics and the team and all that kind of stuff. And then obviously I have to figure out I got to go all the way through the offseason and, and buy some players and all that good stuff. So it may not come out on Wednesday. We may do something like Motorsport Manager instead. But uh, I really appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. We'll see you in the next episode. And also, Jason Duncan, you're ridiculous. Thanks for the Patreon support. Later.